Okay, right now I am tracing the models out so I can then cut out my traces of foam. It's better to use a dark Sharpie. For this one, it's a light purple. It's not quite working. Let me get a darker one. Move on to my next one. So I will get back to it when I get all of these traced. Okay, now I have gotten these all traced out. And I traced them out perfectly so that I will not, hopefully will not mess up. Or else I will have to do this all over again. And that would be terrible. Really terrible if you had to do this all over again. So when you get some scissors, you can cut these traces out so that you can actually start thinking and wanting the place where you want to be on your dummy, like that one over there staring at the camera. <laughs> and I will get back once I cut all these out with scissors. I have cut the pieces out as best as my scissors could. I will get them um, looking a lot better soon. So once you got all pieces out, you can decide where, which, and which way they want to go on your manicure. On the muzzle, I have been shaving down the bottom half, and here is the top half. I have been working on this as well. So tomorrow we will be working on the cheeks. And we'll probably catch up onto the eyebrow and we'll probably start getting them glued onto our dummy here. I'm just gonna hang him upside down. I don't care. Alright, great. Right here. <laughs> I'm tired and we'll, we'll work on these tomorrow morning. Okay, here we are. We have added the cheeks. We have glued the cheeks on. So fluffy. Or squishy, not fluffy. But tomorrow we will hopefully put this on. So I will see you tomorrow. Okay, hi, and um, it doesn't look what you think. I haven't glued it on yet. <laughs> but um, it wouldn't quite fit on the head, so I had to do this so that it would kind of fit on the forehead. And I trimmed it and to thin this and here. So, once we get that, oh my goodness, this, stay. Is it gonna stay? I don't know. Touch. Yeah, it will stay, okay. But, once um, we are done watching the Olympic games, we will, Glue, hopefully, hopefully we'll glue this onto the mask. So 
here I traced and cut out the ears. And in a short while, once the glue gun is done warming up, we will glue the ears onto the mask. Oh. So it kind of looks like that. Uh. <laughs> okay, sorry that I did not do the video about the gluing on the ears. Right now we're just testing out the mask. It's good. It's totally comfortable. I can breathe easily. And it's really good. Next we're going to do the mouth. You might see my mouth. Uh, then we'll be drilling in teeth here. After we have it painted and stuff, and after we do the drilling, then we'll paint it. Then we do the teeth. Okay. Then once we're done, then everything's done. Once everything's done with that, we will add the soft, comfy fur. Okay, I am um, sorry for not <laughs> catching up. Oh, darn it, it's on. Zoom in. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Okay. I didn't, because my camera died, um, I didn't get to show the part where I painted the mouth. And right now, um, only me and my little sister are here. Um, and I decided to put the teeth on myself. And I actually did a pretty good job. My dad's not home yet, and he's like the judge. He'll see if I did it right, but to me, it actually looks pretty cool. This so if I open the jaw here. Ah. Uh, see the teeth? You can see the hot glue that I used. Oh, and I molded the teeth out of clay that I had. Just regular white clay. It's, it's a play kind of clay where you get to play with it. I molded it into teeth, then I baked it. I made teeth. And it actually works pretty well. I think in the last video you saw the nose, teeth. I have done pretty much the fur. All I'm doing is the top piece now that will come up here. And I think I'm going to just do this piece, then I'm just going to figure out how to do the back. Okay, I finished with the fur. Now I'm going to paint the ears on the inside here. And there. And once that's done, um, we're going to get a plastic thing for the eyes. Then once we put in the eyes, I'm going to glue this. Oh, no, I messed up the fur. No. Then I can glue it back there. And then once that's done, well, I'll have fun. I'll see what else I need to do for the costume. Okay, now that I've painted the ears, they're all dry, I went ahead and started doing the eyes. So, this is what one of them looks like. It's, it's plastic. And you put a sticker where you want the pupil to be. And you slowly put layers and layers of colors of paint. And then once that dries, you paint white around. You can do, um, but before you do the white, you can do as many layers right here. 